Okay. What are we here to talk about today, Lee? We're here to talk about uh, we're coming towards the end of the crop. The flowering is over. The grain is filling. It's filling rather well, I would suggest. You, you take a panicle, and there's not many empty grains. Last year we had probably a good 25, even 30 percent empty grains. Grains that just didn't fill for one reason or another. There weren't, wasn't enough fuel in the tank. There weren't enough resources generated by the crop. But now the empty grains are of the order of probably less than 10 percent, which is very encouraging for yield because I will accuse shortly that <laughs> we probably haven't quite got the panicle number. We haven't quite grown the, the looking crop that I'd wanted but they are filling very, very well. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the, at least the panicles that we have, they are pretty good in size. So if I look at the just the pure size of them, so I think the number of grains looks good, and, and also the filling, as Lee has pointed out, uh, all the way uh, from the top towards the bottom seems to be okay. So at least at this point, uh, not too bad, but I would agree. It would just be nice to have uh, a few more panicles. But as we discussed that earlier, probably also an issue of the somewhat wider row spacing and not getting enough uh, closure and tillowing early on, I suppose. We do have some stem borer, so as you look across the crop, you see the odd uh, panicle that just hasn't even started to fill. What's happened is the stem borer has burrowed into the stem, right down low in the stem, and completely killed the panicle, shut off function, so that panicle will feature not at all in the yield calculation. Yeah, you, you can find those uh, all over. Here's another one. Uh, so basically you can see the stem borer has come in at the bottom, uh, towards the bottom of the plant, uh, and essentially just uh, gone into it and chewed it out, uh, and then leading to a complete uh, dead uh, panicles. So, but it always looks bad and of course it is bad at this stage because that panicle is completely lost. You know? But when we look around, I would say it's, it's not unusual amount of uh, stem borer damage. You know? So maybe a couple of percent or at most uh, a few less and that's fairly common in rice uh, fields in Asia. And one can always argue, well, you know, hey, what could we have done to prevent that? And the only way to prevent that is by applying a lot more insecticides, uh, uh, ingredients like carbofuran. But even that probably wouldn't have controlled it completely. And uh, we've made a decision not to apply any insecticides. And I think uh, given the small losses that we have incurred with that, uh, that was a rational decision to make. What I would point out is a point that Finbar would make, our entomologist, that I meant to pull out a, a panicle that was affected by stem borer. Even at the late stage, rice has the ability to compensate. So the fact that that panicle is no longer functioning, it's not drawing resources from the plant, what tends to happen is neighbouring panicles on the same plant get filled better. So the rice even compensates at that late stage. Well, we, we're coming towards the end of the crop, I where this is the inbred, which is about a week behind. We'll go and look at the hybrid shortly. So we're coming up to a decision as to when should we think about harvesting, and hence when should we think about draining the crop. You were raising a question earlier this morning whether we might have not applied enough nitrogen fertilizer. What makes you think that this could be the case? I think two weeks ago you came and looked at the crop, and particularly particularly down towards that end of the crop, I think it looked, it had that underfed look to it. It's a bit hard to quantify, but it had that, that look that it hadn't generated quite the biomass we'd wanted, uh, quite the tiller density, quite the panicle density we wanted, and I feel that we could have done with some extra nitrogen. So you followed what the nutrient manager has, has told us to do. What do you think? Yeah, I'm still convinced that it's probably just enough. You know, we had 120 kilos of nitrogen applied so far on that inbred, and then over there on the hybrid, where we had set a higher yield goal, and also had an additional recommendation for a small application of flowering. The total amount has uh, now been about 150 kg. 
and under our climate here in the dry season crop for the yield that we will probably get, it should be just enough. And when I look at this crop here, I mean, at least visually, I don't really see, uh, at least where we are right now here, I have to say, uh, big deficiency issues. I mean, the leaves are still fairly green, you know, not just at the top actually. I need to pull out a plant here. Uh, but basically, uh, the upper uh, two or three leaves here uh, are still uh, fairly green and uh, uh, capturing carbohydrates. Uh, so I th I'm not convinced that it is not enough. There may be some patches in there, as Leah's pointed out, where uh, it could have been useful to have a little bit more, but by and large, I'm still fairly comf comfortable that with the yield that we might be getting that rate will be just about right and will give us a reasonably decent level of nitrogen fertilizer efficiency. If we had applied more, yeah, we could probably squeeze out a little bit more yield, but then our efficiency goes down and whether that is uh, economical, hard to tell at this point. So I'm still fairly... So you think we're there or thereabouts? Well, it seems to be filling. The leaves are still uh, green and the main thing is that the the upper one or two leaves at this point in the last stages of grain filling on the second half of grain filling need to, kept, need to be kept as green as possible and then that will hopefully carry it all, all the way through to the end. Okay, so we're coming up to the to the end. What we might do is go over to the other field, other side of the field where the end is closer and have a look. Here we are, we're at, we're at the boundary. Arkham is in the inbred, I'm in the hybrid, so I'm about one week ahead of Arkham. Yeah, I've got a, I don't know if you can see this from here, but uh, here is a hybrid plant and here is an inbred plant. And uh, clearly the grains on the hybrid plant are turning yellow already, but on the inbred plant they're still green. And that's expected because, uh, as we had pointed out uh, earlier in the season, we had chosen a hybrid which has about a one week uh, shorter growth duration. So the conundrum we are facing now is uh, we have to somehow schedule uh, draining the field so that it can get dry enough for combine harvest. Uh, and then of course also schedule the harvest and uh, uh, we have to find a bit of a compromise uh, between getting it right for the hybrid and getting it right for the inbred. Uh, because uh, we don't really want to come back at, uh, at too many different times. So my feeling is that we can still... When we, at the moment we don't have standing water much in the field at all, uh, but we probably need one more little irrigation, maybe now, uh, to make sure that the inbred receives enough water, and then after that we just let it drain off. Is that about right? Or? So what, an irrigation early next week? Maybe, yeah. or maybe this weekend, yeah, or early next week. Okay. Yeah, just a few more, a few centimeters of water, and then we slowly let it drain off. And then we'll have to come back in about a week or two to check on the maturity status. And then, yeah, there's not much that can go wrong anymore, hopefully now. Well, I said that last year too, and then we had this like three days of rain coming and uh, when we came back the whole bloody crop was lodged you know? so uh, I shouldn't say that again this time but uh, yeah. so far I think also climatically if we just look at the last few weeks of weather it's been better than last year right yes you yeah. say that yeah. 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 much more convinced yeah. so we've had more sunshine hopefully a higher yield potential, so hopefully still a decent yield that we can actually harvest properly without lodging. I think you're right, I think this hybrid can probably be drained now or thereabouts. The yeah, inbred yeah. needs another week, so we'll put some more water on, give it another week and probably this time next week drain what water there is off the field and then wait till harvest. Okay.